Hello and welcome to all who hear and see this today. You know, we've all experienced love in our life. <clears throat> it comes from our parents, our grandparents, our siblings, our children, our friends. But the love that God has for us is so great that there is no earthly love that can ever compare to it. But before we begin, let's bow our heads in prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you today with thanksgiving and love in our hearts. Lord, we want to thank you for all of the love that you've shown and given us over the years and the love that you will give us in our future. Lord, we just ask you to be with us and to help us know this love and to show this love to others that need it. Even if our day's going bad, just let us take that love that you give us and give it to someone else, Lord. Just keep guiding us and instructing us and helping us to show your love as we should. Lord, I ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen. And for those who want to follow in their Bibles today, I'll be using the NIV Bible. <clears throat> you know, from Genesis to Revelations, we can read about the love that God has for us. Nowhere on earth can this love be duplicated. Nowhere. As we read in John 3.16 about this great love that God has. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life and a God that loves us so much that he gave us his only son to come and live among simple men and women so they can hear firsthand the love that God has for us and then the son who shows such great love and compassion for us, laid down his life that we can have eternal life and live with him in the Father forever. And we find this in John 15, 13. It says that greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. We are God's friends. We're Jesus' friends. They love us as friends, but they love us as their own also. Yeah. And we have to ask, how did this life begin? And we can read about this in Genesis chapter 1, where it tells us how God created everything from nothing to something that we have today. You know, and reading on, we see where God in Genesis 1.26, God created man. He formed him of his own image. He breathed into his mouth to make him live. Got life from the breath of God. Reading on in Genesis chapter 3, 10 and 11, we see where this man that God created and loved sinned against God. He disobeyed God. And right then and there, God could have ended this man's life. Could have ended it all. But his love for man was so great that he didn't. Going on in Genesis 3, 15 through 19, we see where God didn't end the life of man. He only punished him. He made his life a little harder than it would have been had he not sinned. But this tells us of this great love that God has for us. You know, from birth we're taught to love. Our parents show us love, our siblings show us love, our grandparents. Our friends, your best friend next door, shows you love by being there, listening, talking to you when you need it. And God wants us to take this love 
that we're shown and show others. The people on the street that we meet, the beggar on the corner, give him a dollar if you have the extra dollar. But it's showing that love that God shows us is what he wants. You know, years ago, I adopted a child. And she wasn't a child, she was a little older. But I already had two children. But she needed a loving mom that would love her and nourish her. God put her in my life and my love for her was so great I adopted her as mine. She's a little older than the ones I have. But do I love her more because I adopted her? No. I love all three of my children the same. The love that God has for us is like that. He loves us regardless. And he adopted us into his family. And he did this through Christ, his son. And he, he did it in Romans 5, 8, we read that, but God demonstrated his own love for us while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. And this goes back to the first man, Adam, that he sinned. So it is in us to be sinners. But God's love for us was so great that he sent Christ to die for us while we were sinful. And the love that Christ showed that he went through with it is greater in comparison to any love here on earth. You know, and we've all seen the picture of Christ standing at the door knocking. And in Revelations 3.20 we read, Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and he opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and him with me. This picture shows the love that Christ has as he's knocking on the door of our heart. And if we take the time to stop and listen and hear that knock, and we open our hearts and our minds to him. And we ask he will come in. He will come in and we will know and understand the love that God has for us. And we will know we have to share that love. So anyone that's hearing or seeing this today that don't know of that love that Christ has for us or God has for us, and you want to know, I ask you just to bow your head and say this simple prayer. God, I know that I am a sinner. And I do not know the great love that you have for me. And I ask you now, Lord, to please forgive me of my sin. Cleanse my heart and my soul. And I also ask that you help me to know and learn more of this love and learn to share it with others that they too can know of your love. And God, I thank you. I thank you for all of the love and grace that you've shown. In Christ's name, amen. If y'all have prayed this prayer today and you don't have a church home, I ask you to find one, speak with the pastor or someone on staff about God and his love, share your experience with them, join that charge, be in fellowship and communion with the people there. And if you need more questions, find a pastor near you and talk with them. Let them explain to you more about God and his love. I want to thank y'all for watching and listening. Now let's bow our heads a word of prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you for the ones that's taken the time to listen today to my message. Lord, I just ask you to be with them. And the one that's prayed the prayer, Lord, just guide them 
to the church and the pastor that can help them to grow in you, Lord. And Lord, be with the rest of your fo your followers that you guide them and you comfort them in all their needs and that you encourage them and strengthen them to go out and spread your love to all that they meet. Just be with us through this day and through our life. I ask all of this in the name of gracious Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank y'all again. God bless each and every one of y'all.